What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we're gonna check out Cody Rhodes' most savage heel moments outside of the WWE. Uh, this video was uh posted in 2017, so it's kind of old. So, I'm sure there's probably gonna be some more uh moments that we, you know, what I'm saying may have missed some recent ones. But someone sent this to me on Twitter, told him I'd check it out. So, I'm definitely gonna check it out for you guys, man. I am glad that Cody is back in WWE. I just want to make sure, hopefully, they continue to book him correctly and keep his character the way it is. But appreciate all love and support, man. It should be a good one. Let's get right into this bad boy. For me being here, this is, uh, what do you say? Contractually obligated, but for you. We've seen this clip. We've seen this clip uh, a few times in, in other compilations, man. <laughs> My man was like, hey, hey, yo, man, hey, man, we're going to have to go ahead and take care of that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Imagine you delivering a promo and someone says something like that, bro. Everybody laughing. Hey, man, you got to run the fade with him. <laughs> You've seen this before. Who said that? Yep. Who said that? Security. Do you guys have security? Is it this man? Out. Get him out. You guys want to see Brandy? You guys want to see Brandy? You guys don't deserve to see Brandy. <laughs> to it this is a moment for you all sides please get your pictures buy my shirt follow me on twitter i'm only gonna be out here for a few more seconds take it all in <laughs> good work good here work so good to have a star that hasn't faded finally in this building take it all in. all right that's good i like that i like he was able to turn that segment and even heal it up even more i enjoyed that that's <laughs> Listen, that's how you do it this match is not going to happen. No, 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 no. Randy, I know you are ready, but Impact is no longer going to pimp out the Rhodes name on its terms. They're going to do it on mine. Listen, what, what's your name? Casey Quinn. Okay, how about it for Casey, right? Listen, here's $45. Oh! It's $20 more than they were going to pay you. Wow. That's, bro. That, that, here you go, bro. It's $20 extra, man. Go get you some gas. Hey, bro, $45 don't get you a goddamn anything. It can't even fill up your, your tank, your gas tank anymore, man. Jeez. Oh man, that's cold. <laughs> what, you'd be. what was it? King of old school? Where's your crown? The disrespect. The disrespect. Do you remember what you said to the American Dream Dusty Rhodes in 1999? I do. You said to him, I have no respect for you. I never did. And then you told him to look you in the eyes while he was talking to you. So how apropos that I can stand here and tell you. Oh, wow. I have no respect for you. I never did. Look me in the eye when I'm talking to you, Steve. Oh, man. I like this. Nigel, it was. <laughs> Someone said you fucked up because his foot hit the rope or whatnot. That was his stardust gimmick. His foot hit the rope. He wasn't too close to the ropes, but still like it. Still like it. <laughs> I grew up watching Sullivan chase Rose. Oh, not the jack off. It's no coincidence. My first match in Ring of Honor was with you. The reason being, you were hand picked. You were hand selected. Because they knew I could beat you and cement my legacy in Ring of Honor. Come on! Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll open the I'll open the ropes for you. Oh! Come on now! The arrogance. And 
Oh, yo, he was a mega heel. Oh, man. Ah, nah, bro. We're going to have to. Uh, I see I'm outnumbered. So what, what would I do? You guys know me. If you've been subscribed for a while, you know my favorite weapon to pick. It's none other than a steel chair in wrestling. So I'm going to go get me a steel chair. Kindly, you know, fold it up nice and uh, neat. Get back in the ring and start beating the crap out of everything that moves. That's just me. <laughs> He's headed this direction. Yeah, that, that's, that's the entrance. Yep. See? And, and See, I told you. I told you, man. The steel chair, man. Can't go wrong with that in wrestling. Oh, man. Come on, bro. He's just doing his entrance. Lethal sucks eggs. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that his shirt? <laughs> And it's crazy. This is what people wanted Cody to be like in AEW after a while. They wanted him to be healed, but he wasn't trying to. Oh, oh. Todd Sinclair and Sinclair. Jay Lethal just bonked heads. Oh, oh, of course, the low blow. What the hell was that? I gotta say, I did not see that coming. Oh, man. Does he win that way? No way. Wow. Man, get your get your hands off me! <laughs> Are you kidding me? It looks like Cody Rhodes decided to take the shortcuts when it came down to brass tacks. Wait, what? What he? What he do? The shortcuts when it came down to brass tacks. Oh, he gave him the jerk off signal. Oh wow! When the rubber hit the road, Cody decided to take the easy route out. It seems. Oh man. Basically mocking the code of honor now again. Oh, yeah, he's an ass, bro. <laughs> oh, he was. Oh, oh, man. Cody was rogue. Oh, man. He was rogue. Steve Carino thinks of all of this. Bro. The crowd is chanting F you, Cody. That's that's some good heel work. He he was truly rogue. I can see why some of the fans in AEW definitely wanted him to tap into this, but nah, he said, nope, I'm going to stay face. That's crazy. Look at this scene. Look at this scene here in New York City. That's what this was all about. Oh, wow. Oh, disrespectful. To the announce scene? Oh, bro. Oh, come on, bro. Holy, bro. What's this thing of weird, bro? Yo, <laughs> bro. Wow. Bro, the crowd is chanting for him. This is how you know we just live in a society. People love the bad guy. <laughs> People love the bad guy. He's being super disrespectful. And the crowd is chanting Cody, I want to say. Oh! Oh, wow! Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Wait, did he walk up the ramp and do that? Yeah, it looked like this is at the same event. So that wasn't an announce table. That was probably the ringside area. That was the ringside table. He just flipped over. Hey, come on. Whoa. Bro, he just went rogue for no reason. What the hell is this guy all about? That was... I ain't gonna lie to you. That was pretty cool. 
<laughs> I can't even. I can't even. I definitely got to give this video a like, man. I'm going to link the original video down below. And definitely, uh, uh, I may have to go ahead and uh, give this man a subscribe, bro. Because that was. I was not expecting how cool that was. That was. That was super cool. <laughs> that was that was entertaining. I didn't even know Cody could get that rogue. That's awesome. I can see why fans wanted him in AEW to turn heel. But comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys know Cody was this rogue? Was this your first time seeing this? Or have you guys already seen Cody get like this before? Like, this is not your first time seeing it. Because for me, this is my very first time seeing it. I am completely shocked and amazed and maybe at some point in the future we do get such a heel turn like this because this was this was great we appreciate our love support road to 80k appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace